Most of you have probably heard of radioactivity before, probably seeing some kind of glowing green thingy-majigs on the TV. But what exactly is radioactivity? Radioactivity is a process where unstable atomic nuclei release energy known as radiation. There are three types of radiation. The first type of radiation is alpha, which occurs in very heavy nuclei like uranium and thorium, where the nucleus is so large that it becomes more stable by emitting an alpha particle. This will reduce the nucleus's atomic number by 2 and its mass number by 4. One use of alpha particles is in smoke detectors. The emission of alpha particles generates a permanent current and if smoke particles block the current's flow, the alarm goes off. The second type of radiation is beta, which happens when the neutron-proton ratio is too high or low. In beta minus decay, an electron is emitted, caused by the disintegration of a neutron into a proton, electron, and antineutrino. In beta plus decay, a positron is emitted, caused by the disintegration of a proton into a neutron, positron, and a neutrino. One modern application of beta particles is PET scanners, which are positron emission tomography machines that use radioactive tracers to image blood flow and other metabolic processes. The last type of radiation is gamma, which occurs when a nucleus is in an excited state and needs to release excess energy to reach a more stable low energy state. Gamma radiation consists of photons that have no charge, so its beams are not deflected by magnetic fields and its penetration is much higher than alpha and beta radiation. Some scenarios where gamma radiation is typically emitted include after undergoing alpha or beta decay, during nuclear reactions, during electron capture, and annihilation events. One modern use of gamma radiation is a procedure called gamma knife surgery, where concentrated beams of gamma rays are used to kill cancerous cells. While in the comics radiation can give you superpowers, in real life prolonged or intense exposure to radiation can damage living tissues, potentially resulting in radiation sickness, cancer, and genetic damage. This is because radiation can ionize atoms and cells, which leads to the breakage of DNA strands, potentially resulting in mutations, impaired cell functions, or cell death.